my anti-bullying poem, and it's called Stronger. D, made fun of when there is nothing funny about me. Picked on, laughed at, everyone laughing but me, surrounded, trapped by the stares, the snickers, the haters, the whispers. Every day, their words bang against my head, trying to get into my brain, but I won't let it. The tears burn my face at night because I can't forget it. I perspire. My body cries as I try not to sweat. Stop with the hate, the obsession over weight, whether one is gay or straight. So what? I may be shy. I'm smart. I'm not a geek. Just because I'm not wearing Jordans, I must meet my defeat. <laughs> if I have a disorder or a different skin color, don't you dare sit there and judge me because this hair is out of order. Stop with the hate. Yes, I practice a different religion, or I am from a foreign place. Don't criticize. Open your eyes. You may find your faith. I may have an accent or dress differently. Don't you dare point those fingers at me. I am not here to be judged by you. Before you go throwing in your two cents, remember, your currency makes no sense. Your words are worthless. I am not content. Your bullying is something that I will not accept because I am stronger. It's time for me to stand up and change my life for the better. Positively with help. I will make my life better because I am stronger. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Reggae! Woo! Thank you. My second poem, this is one of my favorite poems, is called What's Love? Can someone please tell me what love is? See. I'm going to ask a series of questions, some kind of perplexing. If you got muscles in your brain, then let's get them flexing. Do you fall over the smarts or do you fall over the sexing? Do you study them, take notes, and learn a one-on-one -on -one lesson? Is it love at first sight or is love a blessing? <coughs> when an opportunity knocks, are you the type to step in or to be nervous without any real purpose? Scared to fall in love because you know how the hurt is? Scared to use it because you know how deep the word is? See, I fell in love once or twice before, and yeah, that shit did hurt. But I put my fedora back on and wiped off all that dirt. <laughs> <laughs> but I know what it is. I know what love is all about. When you hear their name of Smile Sprouts, I'm in love now, without all odds and doubts, against all odds and evens, against all Adam and Steve and even and even Adam. Mm. <laughs> so, girl. It's love. No matter the gender, it should not be deceiving. Love doesn't discriminate. Love is so pleasing. See, I know what love is, but to each person, love has a different meaning. Love doesn't constrict. Love is free. It's finding a person who is an equal being. It's finding a solution when you are disagreeing. It's sticking, it's sticking it out together. Love is not free. It's not fleeing. It's feeling. It's friendship. It's a fascination of harmonious happiness and admiration. It's all of this and more. I'm going to need a part two just for this to go on. You sat down, listened, and kept it cool. I explained my version. Now, I want to listen to you. Woo! Get ready, Cole! Yeah! All right, one more. She said one more. This poem is called The Introduction of Jereni Soul. I'm formerly known as Lady C, but I took on a new name. I needed something new if I wanted to play in this game and go up there and recite. I needed a name that was going to fit me right and add peace to my soul. So I came up with Jereni Soul. I thought I was shy, but Jereni is bold. Jereni is ready to take the mic and accomplish mm. my goals. I'm ready to take center stage and keep you engaged with every page from these poems. <laughs> it's my time to shine and no better time like the present. It's time to align these lines, metaphors, and rhymes. Kick that flavor in your ear just mm. one more time. <laughs> <laughs> People tell me... You need to do spoken word, girl. Well, I agree. It's time for me to speak my words to the world. Woo!